Deporting migrants with terrorist links or serious criminal backgrounds will happen faster under a new proposal from the Biden administration. KCAU 9's Washington correspondent Jesse Chenur joins us live from D.C. Jesse. Yeah, good evening, Sophie. So the Department of Homeland Security says that this change would allow for a faster assessment of asylum eligibility compared to current standards. And this announcement came as a House committee already planned to hold a hearing today on the southern border. It's not a stunt. It's about dealing with a real problem. House Republicans say they are not playing politics with the U.S.-Mexico border. Only Joe Biden is responsible for that. Ohio Congressman Jim Jordan held a hearing in Arizona Friday on the impacts of the immigration crisis on the state. Wish we had some Democrats that would actually show up. But Democrats are tackling the issue in another way. The Biden administration is proposing a new rule that aims to speed up asylum processing at the southern border something New York Congressman Tom Swazi supports. We got a problem of asylum, it's being abused. The Department of Homeland Security says the new rule would apply to migrants with terrorist links or serious criminal backgrounds. People that will ultimately be denied six or seven years down the road needs to happen sooner. DHS says the change would cut down the assessment to a matter of days before rejecting them. But Republicans immediately criticized the rule as too little. And Chris Clem, a retired chief border patrol agent, told the committee the Biden administration is not doing enough to enforce current laws. Like giving somebody a bucket to bail water out of your sinking boat. And the new rule takes effect after a 30-day comment period. Live in Washington, I'm Jesse Chnor.